Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem mecmain. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allemni bima yunfa'ni ve zidni elmen inneke entel alimul hakim. My topic today is about the differential diagnosis of the epigastric pain. The common causes and less common causes and the clue to the diagnosis with some examples. The common causes of epigastric pain include functional dyspepsia, reflux esophagitis, duodenal ulcer, gastric ulcer, gastritis, cholecystitis, cholecystitis, ascending cholangitis, hepatitis, acute pancreatitis, chronic pancreatitis, cidocyst of pancreas, coronary artery disease, gastric carcinoma, pancreatic duct carcinoma, sphincter of OD dysfunction, psychosomatic disorder. Trauma to the liver and pancreas and abdominal hernia either hiatal hernia or ventral hernia. What are the key to differential diagnosis? Choice of initial imaging study should be on basis of a clinical judgment. For example, barium meal or swallow of our GI series best for patient with reflux or peptic ulcer disease. Patient with biliary abnormal suspected biliary abnormality and the best imaging modality is ultrasound. But other causes include CT scan for another consideration. What are the helpful clues for common diagnosis? Functional dyspepsia, pain or discomfort in absence of demonstrable structural or physiological abnormality, a probability to abnormal motility and sensation and perception. Reflux esophagitis, you have a regular ulcerated mucosa of the distal esophagus on the barium swallow or above GI series. As we see here in this barium swallow, we see a regularity of the lower esophagus with two outpouching uh, areas indicating ulceration in patient with reflux esophagitis and some narrowing and also dilatation above the narrowing. Did you know also there is a sharply marginated barium collection niche with faults radiating to the edge of the ulcer crater on double contrast barium study. Complications include perforation, hemorrhage, obstruction may be seen on a CT scan. Here with axial CT scan, patient with uh, perforated uh, duodenal ulcer, you see the extra luminal gas here uh, in that area, and the duodenal curve is uh, distorted. in its shape. Gastric ulcer associated with H. pylori infection, non-steroidal non anti-inflammatory drugs, sharply marginated barium collection and false radiating to the edge of the ulcer crater on double contrast barium study. Here we see patient with gastric uh, ulcer shows thick wall, 
check wall uh, antrum and that also it is perforated and we see uh, extra luminal gas and this is the gastric also perforation also we see a lot of load in the into a peritoneal cavity gastritis it is a heterogeneous group of disorder causing um, inflammation of gastric mucosa erosive or medication related to xenophilia, etc. Other GI studies, antral fall thickening and erosion. Contrast enhanced CT, mucosal enhancement, and submucosal edema. As we see here in this patient, axial uh, contrast enhanced CT scan, uh, thickening of the gastric antrum with the low density on the submucosa and narrowing of the lumen and bright enhancement of the mucosa in this patient with uh, gastritis. Cholecystitis, 95% secondary to stone obstructing cystic duct. Ultrasound shows uh, Goldstone or goldstones, distended gallbladder with thick wall and positive Murphy sign. CT scan shows the same finding on ultrasound, a plus very polycystic inflammation plus minus sinus of perforation. As we see here, patient with a large gallbladder stone with acoustic shadowing and thickening of the gallbladder wall, also some distension of the gallbladder. Cholidicolithiasis, pain following heavy meal presenting symptoms in 80% of patients. Goldstone produces visual pain by obstructing cystic duct or ampulla of vata, resulting in distension of the gallbladder or, or biliary tree. 95% of bile duct stones are due to passage from gallbladder into common bile duct. Pain is relieved when the stone migrates back into the gallbladder or passes through the ampulla or falls back into the common bile duct. No systemic signs of infection. Imaging, we see the secrete low signal filling defect within the bile duct on MRCB. MRCB is superior to ultrasound or CT for visualizing the stone. Here, patient with the stone in the common bile duct uh, as we see here in this ultrasound, uh, ultrasound patient. And the uh, common, common duct is dilated also. Uh, ascending cholangitis, we see a regular contour branching pattern dilatation of bile duct due to gallstone or biliary enteric communication. Here we see patient with ascending cholangitis on this axial enhanced uh, CT scan or patient with the drain uh, and uh, uh, pneumopedia and the uh, patient also has fever, chills following the biliary uh, enteric anastomosis for video structures. And you see the dilatation here and the pneumobilia and uh, the stent draining the dilated common bile duct. Uh, this is another patient with ascending cholangitis. Uh, this is a transhepatic uh, cholangiography with uh, a stent. And we see uh, the anastomosis here, the anastomosis here with irregular abrupt termination of the intrahepatic ducts.
patient with hepatitis, we see a starry sky appearance, ecogenic, ecogenicity of the portal venous wall, hepatomegaly, gold blood wall thickening, and periportal lucency. This patient with axial CT scan, we see multiple small lymph nodes on the border hepatis here, it is posterior to the border vein, anterior to the RV, uh, to the IVC, and there is also periportal uh, lucensis in this patient with uh, epigastric pain and uh, hepatitis. Acute pancreatitis, pancreas is enlarged with peripancreatic fluid and infiltration of fatty blends and thickened fascia. Heterogeneous enhancement on contrast enhanced CT scan, non enhancing necrotic areas. As we see here in this axial contrast enhanced CT scan, the edematous infiltration of peripancreatic uh, fatty blends and typical of uh, uncomplicated acute pancreatitis. And uh, pancreas, it is enhancing uh, uh, enhan homogeneously with no area of necrosis. Chronic pancreatitis, we see atrophy of the uh, gland, dilated uh, duct with intraductal calculi and thickening of the very pancreatic fascia. In this patient, we have atrophy of the pancreas with intraductal calcification and dilatation of the intrahepatic biliary due to structure on the common bile duct. In this patient with the chronic pancreatitis. Pseudocyst of pancreas, it is a collection of fluid or, uh, or and inflammatory oxidate encapsulated by fibrous and granulation in tissue. As we see here, patient with the chronic pancreatitis with uh, pseudocyst with calcification and uh, indicating with calcification into a ductal, indicating the chronic pancreatitis. Coronary artery disease, inferior wall, ischemia or infarction may present uh, as a gastric pain in absence of chest pain. Gastric carcinoma, Bilboid or circumferential mass with no peristalsis through, through the lesion on barium study. Focal wall thickening and mucosal irregularity in contrast enhanced CT scan. As we see here, the, the, there, there is circumferential wall thickening of the gastric antrum associated with some uh, lymph node here and it dilated of the stomach proximally, indicating the uh, uh, gastric outlet obstruction in patient with gastric carcinoma involving the antrum. Pancreatic duct carcinoma, 75% of all pancreatic tumor uh, shows a regular uh, heterogeneous boldly enhancing mass with abrupt obstruction of pancreatic duct and common bile duct. We call it a double duct sign, extensive local inv invasion and regional, regional metastasis. Uh, we see here a patient with uh, ductal carcinoma and dilatation of the pancreatic duct and common bile duct, double duct sign. Sphincter of body dysfunction due to papillary stenosis or sphincter of body dyskinesia or void may cause spasm of sphincter of body. Psycho 
somatic disorder more common seen in children with an anxiety disorder. Uh, trauma to the to the liver, as we see here, the traumatic uh, fracture of the left lobe of the liver, uh, causing uh, every gastric pain, accompanied to the and you accompany, often accompanied to the uh, injury to the pancreas and the duodenum. Here, this patient with ventral hernia causing uh, uh, this hernia was surrounding by uh, uh, surrounding by uh, 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 fatty stranding and causing uh, uh, just a proximal uh, bowel obstruction due to strangulation. Less common causes, Crohn's disease, gastric causes, uh, menstrual disease, ga uh, caustic uh, gastrodudinal injury, just a tumor, metastasis. This patient with uh, caustic injury, suicidal attempt, uh, we see extensive uh, thickening of the gastric uh, wall with possible uh, perforation in that area. Here, this patient with a large uh, just tumor, exophytic mass with necrosis, with a fluid level indicating uh, connection to the gastric cavity. Other less common causes, metastasis, uh, hepatic adenoma, biogenic abscess, HCC, adult polycystic disease of the liver, amoebic abscess, hydatid cyst, HELP syndrome, body carry syndrome. This patient with metastasis to the antrum, this is simulating antral tumor cannot be differentiated and causing outlet obstruction. And this metastasis from the breast cancer. This patient with the metastasis to the liver, as we see here, necrotic low density metastasis with patient with the carcinoma of the pancreas. This patient uh, with uh, hepatic adenoma, uh, you see large mass lesion involving the left lobe of the liver with high attenuation in that area, indicating uh, hemorrhage in this patient with the young woman patient with hepatic adenoma. This patient uh, has hepatic biogenic abscess and shows multi nucleated uh, mass lesion. Patient presented with abdominal pain and fever, and uh, patient also has uh, the cause of abscess is diverticulitis. And we see here third around the abscess in the in that area. This patient with uh, hepatocellular carcinoma, heterogeneous enhancement with spontaneous hemorrhage and epigastric uh, pain. This patient with uh, adult uh, autosomal dominant polycystic uh, disease of the liver with multiple cysts involving uh, liver with hepatomegaly. Also, another less common causes include pancreatic divism, solid pseudo, solid and pseudo babillary neoplasm of the pancreas, mucinous cyst, uh, a pancreatic tumor, silver cyst adenocarcinoma of the pancreas, duodenal carcinoma, and musculoskeletal causes. As we see here in this patient with uh, large mass uh, with calcification, uh, it is cervicist adenocarcinoma 
savo sestadinio maudą Benkevijos Here, this patient with duodenal carcinoma, as we see, mass involving the third part of duodenum, associated with adenopathy in that area. Thank you for listening, and hoping to see you soon in another topic. With compliment of Dr. Hisham Al-Khatib.